some bad guys just don't know when to give up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 recurring bosses in video games. For this list, we're focusing on the bosses that players faced on multiple occasions within the same game, as opposed to the bosses that appear in multiple games, ranking them on how well designed their battles are, along with how the battles are kept entertaining without feeling repetitive, as is usually the problem for games that use recurring boss battles. Vacate your shelter now. Number 10, The Skulls, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. As soon as that mist fills the air, you know you're in for the fight of your life. Actually, that's not true. You know you're in for it when you see their names in the opening level credits. Able to hyper jump around the battlefield at high speeds, the skulls can also create large metal spikes and boulders that can be used as projectiles. But perhaps most frightening of all, all nearby soldiers who come into contact with their toxins are turned into zombie-like puppet soldiers. If you thought you could get through the whole game being a stealthy ninja with non-lethal weapons, these guys might just make you rethink your gear strategy. Number 9. Gore Magala, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. This six-limbed elder dragon is certainly one beast that will give your caravan a hard time. Turning up during key plot moments in the game's story mode, the Gormagala makes its presence known to its prey by darkening the skies before moving in for the kill. Even worse is that its attacks are infected by what's known as the Frenzy Virus, which, if left unchecked, can leave the player severely weakened. Eventually, it'll shed its skin and become the Shigaru Magala, serving as the final boss for the low-ranked quests in quite a climactic showdown. Number 8. Bowser, Super Mario Bros. If you're wondering why this classic boss isn't higher on our list, it's because, well, he's honestly kind of a pushover in his first appearance. Still, he's an iconic boss that's faced eight times, and seven of those eight times, if you defeat him with fireballs, you'll find out that you've actually just faced a doppelganger. Mario faces off against Bowser in order to save Princess Peach, who he has of course kidnapped, in the original, quintessential Mario plot. Even in the original 1985 graphics, he was one intimidating Koopa. Number 7. Gary Oak, aka Blue. Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Seriously, screw this guy. The rival is a trope of Pokemon games, but we had to choose this one. After all, he's the grandson of Professor Oak. At the game's beginning, he will always choose the Pokemon that's strongest against the one that the player chooses, and he ends up beating all of the gym leaders before the player does, occasionally challenging him or her to a fight. <laughs> Arguably the actual main antagonist of the game. You just can't help but let his cocky attitude get on your nerves. But don't worry, at least you get to change his name to something fun. Oh, uh, was it Dix? <laughs> That's right! I remember now. His name is Dix. Number 6. Pyramid Head. Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Arguably the most enduring icon of the Silent Hill franchise, Pyramid Head has appeared in several games, but he's most prominently featured in Silent Hill 2 as one of the main antagonists. Leave us both the hell alone! Ah! He stalks James throughout the titular town, popping up every so often to terrorize him and challenge him to a battle. Very little is known about this creature, besides of course his affinity for violence and mutilation, not only for James, but for fellow Silent Hill residents and creatures as well. Ooh, that's downright disturbing. Number 5. The Pursuer, Dark Souls 2. This boss lives up to his name in this notoriously difficult video game. 
This huge figure is surprisingly quick for his size, wielding an enormous sword that can toss the player around like a ragdoll. The pursuer himself is an immortal cursed knight who continues his duty of hunting down and destroying rogue hollows even after becoming hollow himself. Relentlessly ahem, pursuing the player throughout the game, he has fought multiple times throughout the player's adventure. Just make sure to dodge to the right instead of to the left, and don't let him out of your sight. Number 4. Dr. Eggman, aka Robotnik, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Every iconic video game character has an iconic rival, and so it is with Sonic's rival, Dr. Eggman. Each zone closes with a boss battle each one with Eggman using a different crazy machine. In order to defeat him, the player has to face against giant drills, razors, mines, fire, and a lot more. While Eggman is a recurring boss, in all three of the Sonic games on the Genesis, the second one gets the knot, mostly because of its final encounter with the Mad Scientist. Number 3, The Masked Lumen, Bayonetta 2. In a game series full of remarkable bosses, The Masked Lumen is arguably responsible for some of its most epic battles. This character acts as Bayonetta's main rival for the second game, he's able to use her witch time ability, and he doesn't hesitate to summon angelic beasts just to set the stage. Hiraka! We consider John from the original Bayonetta for this list, but her battles don't even come close to the scope and scale this guy brings to the table. And that is saying a lot, considering her final battle was on the top of a flying missile. <laughs> Number 2, Big Daddy, Bioshock. Many of these bosses just show up a few times in their respective games, but there are a total of 21 Big Daddies in Bioshock. One of the most acclaimed aspects of the highly praised game, the Big Daddies protect little sisters, who provide Adam to the player, which can be used for various upgrades. Basically, the Big Daddies are the gatekeepers to the game's equivalent of XP. So, theoretically, you could go through the game without fighting any, but good luck with that. These genetically enhanced humans provide some of the game's biggest challenges, but also some of the game's biggest payoffs, which guaranteed them a spot on this list. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I am a warden of the tunnel. I stand in service to Cortana. <laughs> Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! Number one, Nemesis. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. How fitting that the number one entry on this list ends up having a whole game named after him. Nemesis is an experiment of the Umbrella Corporation, an attempt to create an intelligent version of the standard tyrant enemy. Stars. The result is this terrifying, surprisingly swift stalker who seems to be undefeatable. Not one to be redundant, he develops new attacks later in the game, including a rocket launcher, tentacles, and uh, whatever this thing is. This relentless monster is still scary as hell today despite his pixelation, so it's no wonder he took our top spot. Do you agree with our list? Which recurring boss fight is your favorite? It's alright. I know he'll be an angel soon. For more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.
Rest in peace this time.